Oh boy. I can rem I think I can remember how to do this, so... I think you have to avoid her, uh, her... Her first attacks are to swoop down on you, and then you have to hit her in the butt. So... Spank that butt. Alright. So... I, I think... No, or is this the egg? Oh, no, 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 this is... Yep, okay. Um, oh. Oh boy. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, fuck. No, fuck. I messed that up. How could I have done that? Can't believe it. Okay. A little rusty, but there you go. You can't help being shit. Eh. Okay, got ya. First hit in. Oh, fuck you. Holy crap. Okay. Ooh. Yep, I did, <laughs> didn't I? This is a really well-designed fight, though. Seriously, this is this is actually a really, really good fight. Indeed. Oh! It reminds me of Mario. Yeah, it's the same style. Oh yeah. I always love this fight, though, because like, there's there's just something about Grunty's personality that's just really, really enjoyable. I mean, she's such a despicable fucking like character, you know, and you, you get to feel that throughout the course of the game. You get to feel how despicable she is. She gets faster. Oh yeah, she gets really, really agitated. Um, Shit, man, she's getting well hard to avoid. Whoa. Oh god, no, do I, have to, do I have to avoid her four times? I do. Okay, there we go, I think we're in the second stage now. <laughs> oh, oh, this one. Home in missiles. Boom, done. Don't hit me. Oh, is this the second? Yeah, this is the second stage. Oh, boy. Okay. Two. Oh, okay. Yeah, she, this is the one where she does... Oh, wait. Oh, wait. She does three of these, and then she stops to give you time to hit her. Three. Oh, fuck off. God damn it. Okay. Okay. You could have got her then. <laughs> I know. I didn't. I wasn't patient. She throws three fireballs and then she she gives a break. Two, three. Okay. No. Oh no, it's four. Oh, for fuck's sake, Grumpy. Oh, that fucking camera angle. Oh, I almost hit her three times. Okay. Two. Three. Is she gonna do four? She is, isn't she? Okay, it's four, not three. I always thought it was four. Okay, you can actually, if you're fast enough. Oh, okay, I got two hits in there, that wasn't bad. That wasn't bad at two, three, and she's gonna do a fourth, isn't she? Nope, she's gonna wait. Oh, avoid. Oh, damn, I missed, okay, that's that fine. <laughs> All right, four. Oh god. <laughs> Sorry man, it's the camera angles, they're so fucked up. Okay. We're gonna hide here this time. Three. Okay, she's waiting. Oh, fuck me. God damn it. These camera angles. Okay, you're gonna do a fourth? You're gonna do a fourth. Okay. I can do this, come on. Grunty is not this hard. Oh, fuck me. Okay, fine. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait right here then. Yeah, that would be better for the angle. Oh shit! What did I do that for? I went into first person <laughs> mode. Double defense will see you through this anyway. Oh. Okay, I got her. It's fine. Jesus Christ, man! The amount of time it's been since I've actually played this and and beat Grunty. Okay. Oh, I got her. Okay. That was a lucky, like, you had one sort of off to the left and it just clipped her one. Oh. Every single one of them missed. No, I got, I got one. I got one. Did you? Are you sure? Yeah, yeah. I got one hit in. So you went into that red matter in the background. <laughs> I only need two two more hits uh, while she's here, so... Okay. Oh, no! Whoa! What the fuck, Runny? <laughs> are you kidding me? Everything you believe is wrong. Okay. <laughs> Two, three, four. Ooh! 
Oh, I got you, you fuck. Oh my god, okay. Not to waste. There we go. Oh my god, is she gonna drop a... She didn't drop a honeycomb. Oh, she did. Okay. I need that. I need it. I need it. Okay. Oh, up we go. This is it. This is the final stretch of the fight. Oh god. Hello. Oh, you got to do that uh, missile thing, didn't you? Yeah, you got you got to hit her. Oh no 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 no! Okay. Probably the worst thing to do in this fight is is dive down towards her. Um, so I probably I probably should actually just get like up on her a bit. Yeah. Oh god damn it! She can be really hard to hit in this. Yeah, the targeting on that was quite hard when I done it. I played it on the proper N64 as well. Got ya! That's one hit. And then the bit with the Jinjos, like, uh, attack as well. Got ya! Two hits. Yeah, there is. Oh. Hello, Grunty. Oh, oh, god damn it. I could have got her there. Yeah, you can. Okay, no, no, no. Let's wait. We can, we can wait until she, like, turns around to hit us! Oh, I got ya! From underneath! Um, how many times have you got to connect? I don't know, but I'm doing a pretty damn good job of connecting with her so far. Nope, 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 nope. That would have been luck if you did that. Yeah, it would have been. Okay. You're gonna stop and shoot at me? Okay. Dear Nintendo, please make games like this again. Yes, Nintendo, please. Speaking of Nintendo, actually, the president of Nintendo died uh, a couple of days ago, I believe. Oh, I got her! Okay. Oh, for fuck's sake, yeah, again? She does take enough beats, doesn't she? She's grunty. Of course she's gonna... Oh, there we go. Okay. This is the bit with the gingos, isn't it? Yep. Oh, no, 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 no. Fuck you, grunty. Okay. Um, You have to go back to the ground, don't you? Yep, yep, here we go. Okay. You put the eggs in there or something. Yep. Come on then, you little punks. Grunty's spells will make you chunks, I guess, is what she said there. Oh, no. Don't you dare. Yeah, she's not happy at all. Okay. I won't get hurt from that. Okay, that's one Jinjo. Okay, this is, these are the little Jinjos anyway. I'm getting moving. <laughs> I'm, I'm moving. Bro, I'm fucking moving. Don't, don't even try to tell me I'm not moving. No, no, she's coming in hot, man. Oh god. Go. Okay, fuck you. I've got double defense. Ooh. Okay, fuck you. That's what that's another dingo. Oh. You're really really good at this. You are really really good at this, right now. Like, way too good at this. You're getting raped by Grunny. Fuck, man. She is really raping me right now. Okay, fuck you. Just run. <laughs> Talk about fire in the arse. Fucking hell, Grunty. Okay, I can use that health. Okay, Grunty. I'm gonna fucking defeat you today. This I'm not letting you kill me, okay? I've done this game. I've made I've done my dues. Woo! Hey bro, that's a chip. <laughs> I've fucking done my dues, Grunty. That's your future wife, mate. <laughs> Go fuck yourself. I'm seriously, I'm done. Like Oh yeah, I remember now. I've paid my dues with this fucking bitch, okay? She takes breaks between these. Oh, oh fuck! It didn't activate my thing. Go all the way around it. <laughs> Boom. I'm not even bothered with your shit run here. <laughs> Fuck you, Grunty! Okay. You know what? Fire your best shot. <laughs> Ooh, 
now. Ooh. Okay, gonna do that again. I've got enough gold. Come on now, Grunty. You are fucking dead. Done. Fucking done. Fuck you, Grunty. You're fucking done. Go and fuck yourself. That's it. <laughs> the, ga the game is over. Done. Fucking yes. Fuck you. You can die now. Die. I'm happy. I'm fucking. I'm happy now. <laughs> fuck you. Fucking Grunty. It's a lot of fucks. Yeah, it's a lot of fucks. That's how much I hate her. It's Banjo Kazooie, so a lot of fucks are given. Yep, many, many fucks. Fuckity fuck fuck. Yep, yep. Oh man. Oh god, this is so fucking satisfying to see. Seriously. Look, she's so fat, you can't even move her off the leg. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Ginger. Fuck you, Grumpy. Oh dear. And you missed. Good job, Grunts. Good job. Bye! <laughs> Bye! This, oh, God, this is so satisfying. This, just this, is why the N64 <laughs> is my all-time favourite console. Bam! Games Slapped. like this. Games like Conker's Bad Fur Day. Oh, Conker's you, Bad Fur Day. You just know for a fact here that any game that has the rare logo on it. It just couldn't possibly be be fucked up. You know, with the exception of nuts and bolts. Let's of not course. forget Star Wars Pod Racer. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good game. Uh, yeah, Star Wars Pod Racer. Nah, seriously though, this is not absolutely rare, satisfying oh, to so see. Cool, man. Yeah, I, I've got it. But then rocks that float in the air, and you have to dodge and duck and that's it. That's it, man. Look, we're on a beach. Enjoying the sunshine, it's over. It, this is where it gives you something about the ice key or something, doesn't oh, it? Oh yeah, this is where it tells you about the fucking stop and swap, but you can't get it on the N64 version. It was just left in at the end as a sort of treat uh, for, for players. Yeah, as sort of in like, pill. look what you can't get. Uh, Alright man, thanks for joining us. <laughs> Alright, Perry's off. And you and me are going to see this out to the very end. We're gonna finish this off now before the uh, the end credits come up. So <laughs> I just love Banjo's voice. Yeah. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> I want to take this opportunity to thank everyone, everyone who will watch this, who has watched this, anybody who who watches through this LP in the future, anybody who has watched through it now, whatever, wherever you are, whatever time period. Thank you uh, for joining this journey, uh, my journey through <laughs> Banjo Kazooie. Um, it, it was been, it's been a fucking joy. Um, I had a few serious moments, but it's been great. Um, and here we are at the credits, so we can just sort of chat and, and, and say our thanks for, for this wonderful game existing in the first place. Because, I mean, you said your piece, really. You, you love this game. You love Rare. Rare was a fucking brilliant company, and it still has the potential to be a great company because the developers still exist, and they're now working together again in a new company, making ukulele and ukulele was the reason I started this LP if you guys remember at the very beginning in the very first episode I said I was dedicating this LP to ukulele which throughout the course of this LP reached its goal beat its goal just just pummeled its goal into the ground the company has been absolutely amazing uh, in revealing content that they were going to add to the game and stuff um, they've been talking to the original Rare, and, and people have asked them about, you know, collabs in future, maybe making a true blue sequel to Banjo, but at the moment, Ukulele looks like a fucking brilliant game. I'm again going to take an opportunity to praise it and say, follow it. Go and follow the Twitters, the Facebooks, everything, and just follow it. It's due for release date, according to a recent questionnaire, for October next year. So, and I got the physical PC Deluxe Edition. So I'm gonna LP that game. I'm gonna say it right here, right now, for anybody watching this. I am going to do that game when it comes out next year. But until then, uh, uh, you know, this has been Banjo Kazooie. And this game has always been fun for me. It's always been a joy. I remember one time uh, I played it for three years straight, again and again and again. I just 
kept playing it. I, I killed it basically, and I haven't played it since for about four years, which is why I decided to do this LP now because I missed playing it. It's such an addictive and fun game. It's gloob! Look, it's gloob! <laughs> addictive ain't the word. I remember for two years you couldn't hold a conversation with you unless it was about Banjo Kazooie. Oh, yeah. Do you know what my favourite thing about this game is, though? It's not the, this single game, it's the sequel. Because, like, I'm not going to say too much about the sequel since, you know, nudge, nudge, hint, hint, I'm, I'm going to maybe, possibly, maybe do that. But, um, yeah, I, I, I love it because it has a sequel which actually, like, th this game fits the sequel perfectly. You start up the sequel and it just starts where you remember it. It, yeah. start, it, it carries on from where you remember it and the whole thing is just, it takes everything that Banjo-Kazooie was and, and what Banjo-Kazooie had perfect and it just adds to it, improves upon it, makes it immensely bigger and I can't wait to do that game for you but Banjo-Kazooie itself has been a joy to play, absolutely. Mr. Vile was a fuckface, I'm sorry that that episode was so rage-worthy, Clickhop Wood was a bit quiet in commentary because, well, I was, let's be honest, I was focusing on trying not to fucking fall. Um, but, you know, every, every Rusty Bucket Bay wasn't that hard. I did it post-commentary, so I didn't have to focus on commentating and doing the level at the same time, and it made it a lot easier. So, that's good, right? Now, my brother here, right? I want to thank him for joining me for this because I had this idea from the very beginning that I would have him join me for the end of Banjo Kazooie whenever I let's played it. And he's been so proud and happy with my progress through this game, actually going through with it, doing the whole LP, getting to the end. And I think he's just as happy as I am right now to see these credits in front of him. Yeah. Like, I am so happy that I've done this game now because this will all go up and it will all be in a playlist for me to watch back whenever I want. Two years from now, I can watch back through this and I can remember. I th This was it. This was the first game I did on this channel, a proper Let's Play. One of my favourite games from my childhood. I'm happy with that, you know. I mean, do you, do you have anything else to say, man? Well, yeah, I mean... You know, as like, far back as I can remember, I've just been coming back to these games. Like pretty much once a year, every year. They're just perfect. No, nobody can improve on this or try to imitate this really. You know, I just really, I, w I wish they would just take note and, you know, just keep to a similar formula to this. I mean, essentially, all this game is, is a collector thon. Oh yeah. You know, you do your missions, 10 missions in each level gets you your jigsaw puzzle. You've got your collectibles, your notes, which unlock the doors, which get you through to new sections of the main lobby area, Grunty's Lair. You know what I mean? It's not much more difficult than that. Why aren't there more games like that? You Man. know what I mean? With, with a, a cartoony sort of a childish heart to it. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Because that's what this is. This this has a childish heart to it. And it's just... Even though it is childish, it fucking sings to adults and children oh, alike. It, it sings. sings to everybody. Oh, yeah. Pe people... Big fucker. In their 30s, 40s of add N64s, and they're fucking... They must love this. There's nothing wrong with this. I think we are coming up to the end though now, mate, because as you can tell, we're in the click of wood enemies now, and it's reading down the names, slowly but surely, whip crack! Um, <laughs> I think... Cheeto! Cheeto! Oh man, I can't wait to see him in the sequel. So yeah, here we are, both of us, the dude who got me into this game, and me, the one playing it, who's played through it all. Um, Chilling on a beach, having a pint. With melons. <laughs> yeah. Big, big melons. Oh dear. Yeah, not suggestive at all, that. Grant Kirkhope said the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. I love this. I've really, really loved this. And I, I don't really know what else to say, but like, thank you, Rare. Thank you for making this fucking game. And I hope that someday 
you will be able to make a true blue sequel. I know ukulele is going to be a spiritual successor, but I hope that one day you can bring everything back that was Banjo-Kazooie and, and make it again and do something insane and fantastic like you always did. And I look forward to ukulele as well. Just, just because I hope for Banjo 3 doesn't mean I'm not ecstatic and excited for ukulele. Um, but yeah, Mumbo is going to tell us now about the, uh, the, the spoilerific uh, stop and swap. Mumbo's jaw dropped in awe. From what though? I love those shades, man. I want a pair of those. They look like Matrix shades. The thing is, though, like, it don't look like that at all on the N64. It's a... Uh, the, the PC's processing this at a much higher resolution with much higher, like... I try not to say too much that this is a ROM. I try to, I try to act sort of, you know... Yeah, there's a ver this very squarey, that image. The audio started lagging as well. That's not good. Apologising for the audio lag. That's um, that would be because this is probably high process. But yeah, I could probably replace this actually. I could probably just replace um, yeah, I could probably just replace what we're seeing right now with the original from the N64 instead, since it's kind of laggy. Fuck, you can see the FPS down there in the bottom right there. Yeah, because it's processing a video from inside the game. Ah, uh, well, it's caught up with itself now, actually. That's good. Uh, well, let, well, let's not end the game off on a bad note with laggy shit and all that, you know. Forget the lag, if there is any, and let's no, just... that's cool. When I was a child, I would have dreamed of seeing this, like, two minutes of footage. I would have, like, skipped school and everything just to see this. Yeah, man. Hello, pink egg. Oh, God. That's the pink egg from the question. Is it? I'm sure it was. Oh, there you go. I think we answered it wrong. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, no, I answered it right, though, didn't I? Because I said click clock wood. Oh, no, I said bubble gloop swamp. Because it's, it's the top of the egg in bubble gloop swamp. Well, it's part of the egg in bubble gloop swamp. Maybe I was wrong. Yeah. Well, I mean, stop and swap, like, I'm not going to go into too much detail, but stop and swap was a really cool idea by Rare to sort of have something that would transfer from this game to the sequel and allow for extra cool features in the sequel once you complete this game and got all the stop and swap features from it. But because of the way the cartridges worked, it wasn't really doable. So they sort of, you know, made video like this, um, which wouldn't be accessible to players. And they put it in the end of the game as a sort of teaser saying, you know, this is what we had in mind but couldn't put in the game. Sort of like a deleted scenes type of thing. You know, because these won't actually be there when you go back and look. They're just sort of, you know, showing off that these things were sort of ideas that they had, you know. Um, and I, I, I like that. I admire that. I think the developers were really smart with that, actually. And the fact that they actually implemented it and fully implemented it into the Xbox version was really good, too. But I won't go into well, that. Well, I just noticed how high the frame rate is on that. Yeah. Oh, That's look. That's brilliant. We're going out to the sunset now. Look how... Can you see the beautiful, beautiful sunset? Honest to God, like this would have made my day seeing that when I was like 12 years old. And here we are. Thank you everyone for joining us on this journey. Thank you. It's been fun. Bye. <laughs> see you in the next Let's Play. <laughs> Thanks for joining me, Al. Yeah, no worries.